this 2010 BMW X1 has done just 50,000 kilometres since new. It's got a full BMW service history and it's got two remote keys. It comes in this beautiful champagne colour with black leather interior and I think it represents incredible value for money. It also has navigation and Bluetooth. It doesn't have things you don't need like the big panoramic sunroof which although it's quite nice you know if they have troubles down the down the track it can be very expensive but does have all the things you want like fully automatic your Bluetooth and navigation as I said push button start two remote keys cruise control and dual zone climate control the tyres are in very good condition it's got parking sensors and the car is in amazing condition Have a look at these books. Let's have a look here. So the last service done by BMW was at 47,000 kilometres, 38,000 kilometres, 32,000 kilometres, 20,000 and 9,000. That is a very good service history. But as I've said before, sometimes with these low kilometre cars, if they're not being driven, people don't service them either. I'll sort that out later. servicing and at one stage it was almost like a battle between Mercedes and BMW as to who can do the most kilometres between servicing um, which I think I think's rubbish I think every car should be serviced at the most 10,000 kilometres and 12 months some people even change their oil every 5,000 kilometres or six months which is probably a bit too often the reason why you do it is it keeps the oil nice and clean and an oil change isn't expensive What's expensive is if you don't service the car and um, you get it looked at after 20,000 kilometres or two years, then you could, you could have some expensive bills. This has got the 1.8 litre four cylinder engine, it's economical, it's got an incredible utility, the back seats fold down, it's got anchor points for child seats, the leather's very good. I mean, why would you buy, I'm sure they're, they're good cars, but why would you buy a Kia? You know, or a Hyundai or, or similar when you can buy a car like this. If you buy a new car and you sell it in the next few years, you're going to lose a whole lot of money because this has already had quite a significant drop in terms of value since the car was new. It should hold its value relatively well. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. Uh, I'm very impressed with this Location is Marrickville. We're about 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, and we specialise in European cars. And we're quite fussy, which is why we buy cars like this with in great condition, two keys, and a full service history. Thanks so much for watching.